Yo, I done six shows in a row, so my voice is hurting. Fans wanna hear what you're in person. Boy, oi. She want a man from Brom, but she settled with a boy from Burton. I still see feds on a block. Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of The Beard Necessities here on The Facial Furs. My name is Adam and in today's episode I'm going to be talking to you about another DHT boosting supplement, Booty Superba. Now you're probably wondering what this is. It's actually a herb of Thai origin and it's widely regarded uh, as an aphrodisiac. There's actually a clinical study done uh, that showed that this was quite effective for combating erectile dysfunction but that's not why we're using it on our beard journeys. Um, so I mentioned DHT, dihydrotestosterone. Now, uh, those of you who've watched previous videos uh, or are part of the Minox Beard Spot will know that DHT is the androgen primarily responsible for um, many of our male features, but our facial hair as well, and the actual linear growth of our facial hair. Uh, and there was a study done on a 35-year-old Thai man uh, who had elevated levels of androgens. It's a condition known as hyperandrogenemia. Now, that's you know, a big fancy word, essentially it just means excess hormone, male hormone levels. Um, now he had elevated DHT, higher free testosterone, and in order to find out why, they asked him to stop taking Booty Superba, and within a week, his androgen levels returned to normal. So what they concluded in the study was that this thing right here boosts our natural DHT levels. Um, now, I'm not necessarily advocating that you all go out there and buy it. I do think it's important that you guys go do some of your own research as well and see if it's something that you want to add into your uh, arsenal, into your monoxidal beard arsenal. Uh, but it is something that I've decided that I'm going to start using alongside my uh, my boron taking. Uh, quick update on that as well. Um, going well so far. Have felt a little bit more, you know, um, aggressive and whatnot. Not towards anyone in particular, just a little bit more, uh, a bit more uh, amped up. And that might just be in my head, or that might actually be because of the study that was shown that it increased dihydrotestosterone as well. So this is what the supplement looks like, the one that I bought anyway. It's quite a large pill. It is a little bit difficult to swallow, I'll be honest. Um, it's not the most enjoyable thing to take. Uh, but I'm going to add this into my journey, and hopefully I'm going to see some decent-ish results. So I'm going to put the study in the description of this video for you guys to go and have a look at yourself um, and obviously as I said take some time to do some of your own research as well um, there's a few articles out there uh, on anabolic men for example that you know speak through a lot of uh, testosterone boosters another one being creatine I'm not personally going to touch on creatine because I haven't really researched into it um, but yeah I'm going to add this into my journey um, that being said obviously I was talking about a boring video I want to give a massive massive thank you to uh, Ken from My Beard Journey. Um, good friend of mine who uh, gave me a shout out in his recent video and I know that a few of you new subscribers have popped over from his channel so welcome as well. And on that note, I guess that's really the end of the video guys. Just wanted to kind of give you a heads up, uh, kind of show you a little bit with the study how this could potentially help you. Uh, and hopefully you guys have found that useful and maybe found something that you want to add into your journey. Uh, one last thing, a lot of guys, I got, I got a few comments on my last video about this. Uh, confused about the DHT situation. DHT, bad for head hair, good for facial hair. That's the way I remember it. Uh, so thanks very much for watching, everyone. Uh, and shout out to everybody who subscribed so far. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please do hit that like button. And if you want to keep up to date with the journey and obviously any more hints and tips, then please do hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. Uh, I'm Adam at The Facial Furs and I'll see you again next time. Under the lip. Uh, pretty sure... The vellus is coming through a little bit better around here. Um, I'm not getting really very much apart from very, very fine peach fuzz.